continue with Matthew Holloway of Hubert, a portfolio company of Illion. Hello, so my name's Matthew Holloway. I'm the MD of Qbot. Qbot is a robotics company. We have a proven technology, a defined market, and wait for it, paying customers. We're here today to kick off a 300K fundraising round. The construction industry faces a number of challenges, an aging workforce, poor accountability, and low profit margins. Yes, some of the tools have got bigger and uh, more exciting, but we still follow the same processes that we have done for hundreds of years. There is a direct correlation between labor and output. Nearly every other industry has challenged this and disrupted it. Qbot is, a is one of a wave of new companies bringing the future to the construction industry. Our robots turn dirty, dangerous, and disruptive jobs into clean, efficient, and safe processes. Our initial focus is to insulate homes at a fraction of their current cost, specifically underfloor insulation. And that's a job that currently people can't get into, but is perfect for a robot such as this. More than a quarter of the UK's homes were built more than 100 years ago, and they are difficult and expensive to bring up to modern standards. The vast majority have a suspended timber floor, and as much as 25% of heat loss from the whole property can be attributed to this floor. That's because it's not just heat that's lost to the cold ground below, but cold air coming up and driving heat loss through the rest of the building. This is what it looks like when you insulate um, your floors now. Where will you live whilst we take apart your house for two weeks, cut insulation panels to shape by hand, put it all back together again and decorate? It's very disruptive, it's very expensive, and that's why not many people do it. With Qbot, we can install insulation in less than a day, and we can do so without even accessing the property. The robot can be fitted through an air vent on the outside wall, deploys within the space, and applies insulation to the underside of the floor, keeping the floorboards on the warm, dry side and still allowing the ground to breathe. Our technology also maps and surveys what's in the void, mapping services, but also measuring the amount of insulation that's applied so that we can calculate heat loss and energy savings. In essence, we build mini JCBs. These are not simple toys, but, but powerful, compact vehicles which are able to carry out complex operations in difficult environments. We have a um, intelligent sensing and control system, which means that they're easy to use and that we can build quality control into the devices. Our initial focus is social housing providers. They have obligations to provide affordable warmth and meet government targets for CO2 reduction. They have internal budgets to upgrade their uh, property portfolio, as well as being able to access government grants. Camden Council, for example, has 33,000 homes, 60% of which are period townhouses in conservation areas. They've done the easy treatments such as loft insulation, and now without Qbot, there's very little that they can do. And that's why they're one of our first customers. External wall insulation, internal wall insulation, is disruptive, expensive, and massively impacts the building. Double glazing, boilers, don't tend to pay for themselves within their own lifetime. So Qbot, compared to other measures, is cheaper in terms of capital cost, has high savings per year, has a short payback, and saves far more CO2 and energy per pound spent than any other measure that's applicable to these homes. The benefits for those living in the property are that they get warmer feet, less cold drafts, quieter floors, and even improved air quality, and all of this whilst causing less disruption and hassle than installing loft insulation. Initially, we plan to work directly with social housing providers. This allows us to build up a sales pipeline, secure accreditation, and build credibility. We will then partner with approved installer networks and contractors, which will allow us to deliver at scale. This also allows us to access other markets, including owner-occupiers, public, commercial, and private landlords. 
each one of which is worth multi-billion pounds. And even without, even without the government grants, this, these markets are worth in excess of 150 million pounds per year to Qbot. And that's before we look at other applications in the UK and further afield. This model allows us to scale rapidly. It means that with just a few hundred robots and 20 clients, we can generate very large revenues. The contractors and installers get a new service. They're able to offer a new service to their customers, which they weren't before, and they also get higher profit margins than their current practices. So they're very keen to work with us too. Um, currently, we're working, we have four customers um, who we sold to, and we're working on rollouts with the first um, two, um, initially this winter, and then larger rollouts for hundreds of installs um, after that. These first four customers are worth something in the region of 25 million pounds to Qbot. And there are 1,700 more just like them in the UK. My background, um, I spent nine years with startups. I've turned my ideas into successful businesses and led the acquisition of my last startup. Tom has an outstanding reputation in retrofit and energy efficiency. Peter is the lead for engineering and design at Imperial College. We have Ilian, who you just saw, Andrea, who um, worked on uh, the US president's helicopter, for example, and rotary um, aircraft, and brings technical strategy to us. Yesterday, we hired an excellent financial director, and we're looking to seek uh, find a business development director at the moment. So in summary, we have um, significant grant funding um, available to us for next year already. We're seeking to complement that with additional funding to allow us to execute our current sales pipeline, improve delivery capability, secure accreditations, and provide working capital to scale up. Um, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to talking to you further. Great pitch. Thank you. Do you have a question for Matthew? Hi. Um, I'm by no means an expert in this uh, field at all, but what's the incentive to the housing authorities? Because obviously there's things like government subsidies that help with boiler schemes and even loft insulation, I think. Is, is there something similar for this? Yep. So housing associations um, and so, uh, local authorities have a big problem at the moment because they've got this driver to improve energy efficiency, but the government has also changed how their tenants pay the rent to them. So the tenants now receive money from the government and then only pay their rent if they have money left at the end of the month. Social housing providers provide some of the poorest and most vulnerable people with homes that are often energy inefficient and expensive to heat. So they have real drivers to improve um, the quality of this work. But they also have problems because they need to get this um, into the tenants' homes and deliver it at scale, you know, across tens of thousands of properties. So if you're like Camden and your job is to um, organise access to 10, 000, with 10,000 tenants to install work, it, it's a nightmare. So they're really, really um, keen to work with us for, for those reasons. There's a lot more that you could talk to them, you know, afterwards about that. But All right, Robert Yelsky. Uh, what's, uh, Robert Yelsky. Invest. What's your current business model? I didn't quite understand that. Yeah, I, I haven't gone into very much deep detail in the public forum with the business model because there's quite a bit of few innovative aspects to it. But I in essence, we have a leasing and um, success fee model with our installers and contractors. So we provide them with a service that they in turn provide to their clients. Initially, we have to prove that that's viable, so we're working directly with the social housing providers. But I'm, I'm happy to talk to you further about that afterwards. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Thank you.